Well, here we are again in Maui for the annual Snapdragon Summit. It's good to, good to see you again. It's great, yeah. This is, a, this is a great event. Qualcomm always launches new technologies. And, and one of the things that stood out to me is I think it's been a long time coming, right, that you guys are returning to custom cores. I, I call it the glory, Qualcomm's glorious return to custom cores. But I think within the, the, the vein of this broader one technology roadmap that you and Cristiano have talked about, I think this, this common core, this custom core architecture that spans all the businesses makes a lot of sense now in terms of your strategy. So how do you kind of see that, this return to custom cores and how strategic that is for Qualcomm? Extremely strategic. And uh, as you know, this uh, one tech uh, roadmap is extremely important for us because we derive everything from uh, the mindset that we have to have the highest performance, lowest power in almost everything we do, and that kind of transcends itself into multiple products. But when we had a custom core before, it was actually for the mobile business, right. and that's it, that was right. it. And what we wanted to do was to differentiate the mobile products in such a way that the, the our, our customers would get a great product, user experience would be good, we would be differentiated, everyone would win at the same time. But now, we have these big compute businesses. By the way, people don't think mobile is a compute, it is a legitimate compute business because if you remember, PC was actually the first compute platform. People developed on it, people used it, they were productive on it. Then the second compute platform came and that's the, that's the mobile phone. Right. And people didn't give up the PC, they continued on doing more and more on the mobile phone as they have the PC and then what we think the third compute platform is going to be XR for people, the devices that people carry. Still, XR will be used tremendously, but you don't give up the mobile phone, you don't give up the PC, they all exist. Right. And auto is, the, is another one. And so if you think about the businesses we're in now, mobile as a compute platform, PC as a big compute platform, right. auto as a big compute platform, it makes sense to have a CPU that could go across all these businesses, right. be designed at different points for these businesses and bring differentiation to you know, multiple hundreds of millions of units that we would ship across all three of these, uh, across all three of these businesses. So I think it's a great way for us to continue that one tech roadmap uh, and have a great core that can span across three or four different right. business types. And one of the other things I imagine that gives you, right? I mean, Qualcomm has the most, one of the most scale of really anybody, right? Yeah. But the ability to see all the other businesses, right, that you're in, the footprints that you're in, and how that actually informs your product decisions, right? Whether it's a wearable, or it's a glasses, or it's a headset, or it's the computer, right? Having that breadth of depth, I imagine, gives you differentiators, technical differentiators, and also just the ability to, to better customize for all those customers now because you have, you're more in control of your own destiny, again, right, from an architect. <laughs> Standpoint. That's correct. So if you look at these, if you look at the core technology, it's really compute. Uh, compute on, on one hand is CPU, GPU, NPU, right. ISP, right? Image signal processing. And then you have AI, and then you have connectivity. These, these entities blend into all these businesses that we're in. And so I think it's uh, what we do more and more of is we start with the user experience and we work our way backwards and where do we end up in the technology to provide the best user experience, really. And then we work with our OS partners, we work with our OEM partners to try to put together a case that says, okay, where am I going to sell this? How am I going to sell this? Who's going to use it? Why would they use it? So for example, in phones, the two things that sell the most, camera phones, gaming phones. And so you look at the CPU in both, and it helps quite a bit across mm. both. AI, across both. Uh, uh, GPU across both, CPU across both. So that's how we look at things these days and it makes perfect sense to have that. Yeah, and when you look at the just the long-term roadmap, right? Where, where are you most excited about some of these growth drivers? I mean, obviously you continue to do really well in phones, we're about to move to this, I don't even want to call it an AI phone, but you know what I mean. Like yeah. smartphones are going to get yeah. smarter yeah. and it's it's something new. Yeah. Um, but then we've got you know big compute, you guys have auto, you've got, where, where are those sort of growth areas where you really think Qualcomm's technically differentiated to just go compete? So, uh, like you said, we're very well established in mobile. I think uh, PC is the, a big growth area for a personal device environment. Auto obviously is established in a major, major way. Uh, the pipeline's massive. 
Uh, so I think those are the big compute three areas and probably industrial IoT right. is the next frontier for us to say. But for me, if you, if you take a step back from those compute platforms and you look at personal devices, the combo of devices that people carry for, for the mobile compute XR business, the MCX business, is the most exciting piece. The, the way people will get advantages and user experiences with a combo of devices, it's much different than someone actually carrying one phone or right, one pair of right. glasses or one earbuds or one watch. Things working together in concert is so much more friendly and intuitive. So just imagine, you have a powerful processor in the handset, powerful. You know, we're running, you know, four gigahertz plus right now you know, huge amount of memory, great GPU, great camera capability, all that stuff is great. But you have a very powerful processor sitting there. You have a pair of glasses that will see exactly what you see and hear exactly what you hear. So there's no need to pull a phone out and show it right. and to translate this and convert that. You just right. ask. Right. And you could locally orchestrate that capability based on the compute available to you or to the cloud, okay? Uh, your watch, it knows how you feel. It knows if you're tired, it knows if you've taken enough steps, it knows what your heart rate is. That combined with what you need to do throughout the day, combined with a great compute platform right. they have with you, it'll be an amazing set of experiences. And I think you heard today in, in, in the car, right. those same types of experiences exactly. coming through, but there's multiple systems embedded in the car that will allow you to do it. There's a modem, there's a compute platform, there's an AI platform, right. and you're kind of asking those things. But if you walk outside of the car, these devices are with you all the time. So I think that great user experience will continue. Yeah, and you made a good point at the beginning too, right? You guys did custom cores. It was all about mobile. Yeah. You know, and I, and I followed this company for you know yeah. twenty something years. But right now feels like the most exciting time for Qualcomm to just go compete in all these businesses. Like, do you get that vibe too? Like, we're we're pumped up. Our our our, our employees are pumped because this is our best time to just go 100, compete. Hundred percent. You see, look in, in mobile. Snapdragon is synonymous with right. premium experiences. Right. So every year, outperform, get the power to be correct, have a right balance, get better user experiences. You look at, you look at PC, it's an inflection point for the PC. Every single uh, mobile attribute is moving to the PC. Right. Okay? You want the same kind of look and feel, ultra portable, light, all day battery life, high performance, low power, extremely great multimedia capability because you're doing video conferencing all day long. Entertainment, all those things have to be with you and last all day long. Big inflection point where the user interface to the PC is changing. Embedded AI, we have 15 yeah. years experience yeah. in that. People don't know. Right. Like every time you took a photo and it was sunlight, and it was saturated, what fixed it? AI. Took a photo in, in low light, didn't come out right, what fixed it? AI. Malware detection false network detection, security, all that stuff was done by AI. Now it's in the foreground. Yeah. Everyone's going, oh, what's this AI thing? But they've right, been using right. it for years. So I think, I think that change in the PC market is super exciting for yeah. us. Super exciting, so it's in our wheelhouse. So we want to go in and compete heavily there because we have long-term investment, we have a differentiated product in an inflection point, and a go-to-market partner like Microsoft that is right. going to help us run. Right. right? Move to XR. We have everybody in the XR world, everybody working with us. Yeah, that's not true. A yep. Single customer besides in, in the non Apple ecosystem that's right. not working right. with us. And so I think we are in a great position in all three of those. And then the supplementary products of watch and earbuds that, that make the whole thing complete is also there. And we have almost every design yeah. there is out there right. as well. So we're in a really, really good position in all these five businesses. And then we supplement whatever auto and industrial IoT do, because if that technology can, can make its way there, which it does, right. and then it gets designed at a different point for their needs, yeah. perfect. Yeah. That's what we've been feeding all along. Yeah. Well, great momentum. I'm looking, already looking forward to next year Fantastic. and everything that comes along for it. For th thanks for joining me. For next yeah, year. I'm, yeah. Already, I'm, al I'm already there. <laughs> all right. Don't worry. All right. Thank you. Great to talk yeah, to you. Likewise. Thank you. Yeah.